Hello guys, it's Waiko here and welcome to this video where we are going to play against Nunu, this damn yeti that has that has given so many head edges to, to Shaco players. This nun is this Nunu is a fucking annoying champion to play against Shaco. And I think it was about time I made a video about how to play against this guy. Because this guy is one of the hardest uh, matchups you can have a Shaco, especially when surrounded with a shield team, which is this one. Like you, we have a team. This is actually unfortunately team. Unfortunate team. We are have we are facing Anunu, Alulu, Alex, and as well with armor and Anami. This is all damn support team <laughs> that is going to play a guess around around um, Israel. So <laughs> this can be this can be hard. This is a one of kind of setups. Maybe this is the, the, the extreme point, but as an overall, Nunu is a it's a denier jungler that will work to counter jungle you, to deny your form. He can even duel your early game. He can invade you. He can do so many annoying things that the Shaco will give you troubles. And in addition, in, in late game, it's a, another extra support for your for his carry. So. This is going to be a kind of hard match, yeah, but I wanted to bring it to you so you can more or less see how this works. So, look at this. Nun is a champion that, well, he can be annoying. He is mostly annoying in by one by one, by one team fights and all these kinds of situations. By himself, he's not that strong. Like it's a champion that has no dashes, that has no jumps, has no leaps. He doesn't have any true wave clear part of his ult, but if he uses his ult to clear waves, that I guess that's good. So overall, he can be annoying, but a part of his invading power, his pressure in lane, it's terrible. His yanking is better than most people think. So let's see how how do we kill this? Um, how do we kill this guy? Let's start with three random boxes here. Did he work? I don't know. One last box here for the sexy Gromp, and we're starting this. As an overall, we can expect Nunu to invade us. I mean, if he is a good Nunu, what he's going to do is permanently invade me. He's going to invade me like constantly. So I have to be aware of that, and instead of frustrating because this guy is invading me, I have to put traps for him. Like I have to wear my own jungle. Uh, I don't think I really, I can really fight for the scholar crabs, which is the meta around nowadays. So this is going to make it harder. But apart of that, we can more or less expect Nunu. Like he's a guy that he's annoying. Look at this. You see? The problem is that he has, he has, um, the support of his team and I don't have the support of my team, this is a problem. But you see how annoying he is, he starts with red, he tries to invade, he wards your jungle, he's a guy that is going to be annoying, like, you can expect this guy to be really annoying and that's part of his kit, so don't really get frustrated by that, because that's what this guy does. That's what this guy does. You see him top. Okay, I go to his blue and I steal his blue. What the fuck is my team doing? It's important that you are not afraid of Nuno's early pressure because that's part of the way he works and he has his, his own downsides. And he will do mistakes. Like, remember that in the end he's just a human being and he's going to do mistakes and you have to use his mistakes. Like the one I did here that I almost died to. To snowball and to win the game. I mean, he, I think he didn't get a kill in there. That's perfect. I got him to level three. I got his blue, and no early game kind of suffered with that blue. So that could be worse. That could be worse. That's a good start. As always, you have to look at your setup and try to find out where your setup uh, is stronger. For example, top laner is one for that split pushing. Overall, we have a good setup for a split push. Like we have an Annie, we have a Yasuo to Inamer. This is super. So many auto attack play, so many auto attack champions that while may not be the best for team fighting, 
it's going to be amazing for pressuring the game and split pushing as overall. What I'm doing, I'm just creating really bad. I'm, I'm about to die here. I don't want to die here. I'm just not going to do the stupid things. I'm just going to go base and try to play smart. So, I more or less, I can expect my lanes to be pressing a lot. Like, Trinemer should be able to pressure this little a lot. In the end, he will not push him. That's a matter of time. Uh, and he's probably the one that is going to have more travels. But luckily enough, this Lux doesn't have barrier but heal, and I have Ignite to counter that. And these guys are asking for help. Let's help these guys. So we have to look, you know, for pressuring the map as much as we can. In the end, especially late game, uh, they will move around this is real, and I know that I won't be able to win shot this is real, sadly. Like <laughs> whoever I just focus as an assassin, they will just uh, shield him and try to and try to heal him. Anyway, they actually banned all the assassins. And if you're playing this kind of setup, I don't think you have to ban assassins. Like this is the best setup you can have if you want to bait assassins. So you don't really want to bait. You don't really want to to ban them. You want them to be picked so you can bait them. But anyway. Oh yeah, so you went base. You betrayed me. Let's see if I can kill this guy. That's on my kill. That's just beautiful. And I guess we should back now. Because we don't really know where Nuno is. Here. What? It's star, right? Yeah, this is done. So as you see the top the top side, Scholar Crab is about to appear. But I find here a wonderful uh, place to gank. She's going to go after this. It's a, a wonderful counter gank, I think we win. I can expect some help from this girl, she didn't help. You see how pressure he is? That's the bad, the bad thing of, Lu, of Nunu. Nunu is a, a champion that can that has a stronger smite as, as ba uh, on his hit. Like he's on his smite, you won't be able to out smite never. Especially if he uh, can try to connect them with... Like, the, if he connects the bite with the smite, it's going to be almost impossible to out smite him. And that's part of... of again, it's part of it, don't get frustrated. He has many downsides, but this is his strong side, so don't try to... Don't get frustrated if Nunu outsmiles you. It's part of it. I'm actually kind of behind in farm. The good thing is that in one minute this appears, we could try to steal it. I'm actually going to place this here. Bring this as fast as I can, going base, and we may try to trap this Nunu on his blue. I'm going to even smile this. Oops. Let's go. Nunu! I'm going to kill you, Nunu! Don't you feel? Don't you hear that? That's the sound of you dying, bro! Also, this guy is super tanky, so dwelling him, especially after he gets his red smite. He has a red smite, he has a, his, he, remember that his snowball doesn't only do damage and slow you, but it also reduces your attack speed. So it's almost impossible that you can really duel that Nunu. And we have to accept it, but we can do things that Nunu can't do, which is split pushing mostly. So we are going to try to steal this. Let's see if Trinder kind of helps me. Are you doing this? Yeah. That's perfect. You see? Now you don't. 
I'm farming super bad, by the way, but I have to remove this pressure somehow. I'm actually amazed that Nunu managed to time this blue when I steal it. Good job from him. And now I know that uh, Nunu is coming after me, probably. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is he really mid? It's sad. And this is free right for me. This is probably the only moment where you can really um, steal the, the, the Drake to Anunu is when he dies. Like, you see what they did there? Yeah, looks got a kill, but as Nunu, your strongest point is the, your ability to take objectives early before being a support for your carry. So, if you are playing Lunu, Nunu and you don't really take objectives, that means that you're doing something wrong. At the moment, look at this. I just got two Scholar Crabs. Uh, I got a Drake too. And we just... Damn, Nami was solid. Good job from him. And we are slowly getting ahead. I'm actually really considering like building Berserker Graves instead of... Um, I'm sorry, getting Berserker Graves and I draw directly by skipping Dust Blade to start forcing the split push. But no, I guess I'm going to get... Uh, the thing is that if they get armor... This is kind of hard to play with. Hold on, my Trini. I guess he's dead. No, he's not. Yeah, wonderful. Re what? She really flashed? You didn't expect that. Anyway. That was my bad, I guess. They actually have a, a setup that hurts Shake a lot. Like they have a Lulu that reveals you so many shields to protect his teammates. I can't really play the assassin way of Shaco. I'm even considering skipping uh, Dust Blade. I won't because it just synergized to go to Shaco, but I'm actually considering going for a uh, fast Trinity. And Raymond is Hydra and just split push all day long. Good job. You see that that's what we are strong. Are destroying things. Pressuring things. Another crap for us. That's good news. That's good news. That's fake. <laughs> Did you see that? You can, that's that's a bad thing, you can really do that, you can really do that too. Oh, I, so I ignited my mistake, I'm idiot. You can really, you can really invade Nunu and steal his scans and you see all, all these outsmart plays you can do as a Shaco usually, you can really do it against Nunu. Because his smite is just too strong. It's fine, it's as annoying as it sounds, but that's pretty much it. Meanwhile top, I guess. 
There you go. Lux! Oh, my little Luxie! Hi, my little Luxie, how you are? Oh, you died? Potato! That's something that Nunu will never be able to do, which is surprising your enemy like that. Since Nunu doesn't have any way of leaping or any way of jumping or any way of uh, surprising your enemies, your allies, sorry, as long as you more or less track him and you know where he is, you can gank and you cannot play him. Good job, Ox, you see? It's kinda easy. This guy has blue? He has blue. Wow, I'm so fu- <laughs> I'm so fucking dead! So many good CC. I should have expected that. One thing you can do there- I, I was just stupid there. I was just stupid. One thing you can do there to avoid that happening. And I was just so rushy that I just ignored it. But you can dodge uh, damage of Lux Laser or Ultimate uh, from Nunu by popping your ult at the moment- at the good moment. I just got cocked in there. I just got cocked in there. I just did stupid- <laughs> I just did it stupidly. But you can actually dodge that. <laughs> That's what he does that. <laughs> okay, I'm Diamond. I should I should be demoted to gold. But you see, at the moment we openly fight, I'm weak. I, d I die there. That's not where I'm strong, and I shouldn't play like that. I guess Lux is trying to go bot, and that's where I can actually... Uh, Okay. Come on, box. This this box time trade me. Oh, good job. That was fancy and sexy, dude. And that's another kill. Nunu died again. We another free rake. That's it, the same method, you know. As long as Nunu keeps dying and doing mistakes like that, we can take the objectives. This is the only moment where we can actually uh, contest the objectives of Nunu. Let's see if we're gonna stop this, guys. Come on, bike. You see, Nunu's here. Look at his build, he's going full tank. We can't really fight this. That's where they are strong, we can really do this. You see, at the moment, they, do, do you see what, what I say that they are team fighters? At the moment that they group, they are strong. We can't really fight in those situations. Because that's when they are strong. Laser?
Tu dip. Wow, that was a pretty nice ult. Good job, team. Good job. Okay, I really need to split push now, so this is going to help me a lot. I don't think I don't need this anymore. And this is going to be super satisfying. We can keep doing it. I'm actually doing plenty of misplacing here. But as an overall, you see what I mean. Like, you can, uh, as long as your farm is pretty much decent, like, I have a decent farm. I don't have the best farm, but I have like 110 minions. I should have like 130 at minute 20. So I'm like 15 minions behind, 15, 20 minions behind. I got many drakes, I got many crabs. Uh, I'm actually the same level than Nunu. And Nunu excels at being uh, more ahead in level than you. And I'm even positive on kills, so that's a good summary. Too bad I didn't Errol, I should have probably Errol before. Anyway. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Burn isn't about call at all. Meanwhile, three number is doing. <laughs> what is three number doing? It's so I'm late for doing this. This is not the smart, but since everyone is going, well, I'm going to send the clone just to bait like we are covering or. Wow, we die here. Anyway. That's GG. If we did that Baron way, like, we were 20 seconds late to this. If Trinamer just Trinamer was top and he was just one in here, just move around here, the other wolves, blah, blah. We were all pinging like, hey, come here. He was just, well, let's, what should they do now? But anyway, we got the Baron. As you see, even when your teammate does mistakes, you can win, you can get advantage. I'm actually doing tons of mistakes on this match. But with this team, it's super frustrating to play against these kind of teams. Good job. Yes, who means, man? <laughs> yes, who means? GG. They just surrendered. As you see, Nunu moves more around. Uh, when you're fighting Nunu, it moves more around trying to avoid being denied by him, trying to get kills here and there, trying to, to track him so he doesn't really invade you and steal your buffs. And overall, Avoiding him getting that advantage that Nunu can get early game in a way that Sheiko used to have like few seasons ago like the old Sheiko that used it to stomp early game where Nunu is kind of set that situation like he can invade, he can deny you, he can snowball with his teammate with his W especially Dakari, he has so many ways to snowball and it can be kind of annoying a Sheiko so as when you're facing a Sheiko when you're facing Nuno Sheiko, you have to try to split, you have to try to wait for peaks, you have to try to pressure them up, but you don't have to really fight 5v5 with a Nuno round, or you will die like it happened to me a couple of times because of this place. So that's pretty much it, that's the way you can fight with Nunu. Uh, so I didn't stomp, but I mean it wasn't a fancy game where I super stomp, but I think there are moments for that, and 
I wanted to show you that even when you don't stop, you can win games if you do properly or even if you do mistakes, if your strategy is good. And in this situation, I think this strategy was pretty good. So that's pretty much it. What's five versus tokens? The fuck is he 